A new star says Alpha 3.24.2 PTU pass just dropped for Evo Cadi. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's continue. Alright guys, this one is pretty straightforward. There's quite a few bug fixes for this one, so which is a good sign. So test and focus remains the same as always. Uh, stability, bug fixes, vehicle, HUD and MFD rework, character, uh, creator DNA faces, uh, beards, tattoos and hair, new acidic and rock caves, flight tuning and archetype balances, and the new arena commander updates. So they also made a few updates uh, under features and gameplay. Uh, for characters, DNA heads, visual, polish pass has been done. Under gameplay, they did a star map text drop down shadow polish. Um, and also a freight elevator kiosk adjustment transfer wording. Okay. Also, ships and vehicles, MFD and HUD polish pass has also been done. It says here they made the velocity always show as meters per second and they've added a cooldown indication to quantum ui and they've also added a new reticle and targeting lock materials under weapons and items it says they've adjusted the paar recoil to have a definitive delay after firing interesting can't wait to use that uh, weapon hopefully it's also available to those that didn't purchase it through the goodies pack okay so i just want it to be available in game if they're releasing it yeah so there's a few buffs for this one the fixing mfd uv geometry in the turret is not suitable for the new mfds um there is no velocity binding for targets on mfds um has been fixed also uh the fixing issue where uh, mission objectives are missing from multiple ui elements they fixed an issue where uh, center MFDs have visual flickering art assets. They fix an issue where the left arrow button on the MFD screens has no functionality. They fix an issue where interaction prompt to enter the pilot seat and other supported seats is oriented far below where the player would naturally look. They fix an issue where Tetra Twitch, uh, Paxio is not visible to the player and cannot be interacted with the fixing issue where switching dna to review clutters faces with the face sculpting uh control points they fix an issue where all vehicle clips through the planet terrain when player exits the pilot seat it's an interesting bug they fix an issue where the terrapin ramp is naturally missing when fully closed and viewed from the interior they fix an issue where the pilot CMFD is blank and uh, is missing UI. So now this is for the Anvil Carrick. They fix an issue where the ship does not have an enunciated visual in the cockpit. This is for the Buccaneer. So they fix the same issue for the Glaive and the Scythe as well. Uh, they fix an issue where missiles minimum and maximum range lock range is not present. They fix an issue where the HUD visuals and functionality for missile target lock on is missing. They fix an issue where the copian will frequently freeze and stop responding to the player's presence. They fix an issue where jump drive module is misplaced in the ship's interior. They fix an issue where there's a replace me texture present across multiple areas of the ship. So now this is for the spirit glaive. They fix an issue where ship's weapons are still firing even when overheated. They fix an issue where there is an enter seat interaction prompt next to the refueling terminal on the bridge. Now, this is for the Miss Starfarer and for the Miss Freelancer. They fix an issue where there is a proxy blocking the path to the cockpit. Along with this is three client crash fixes. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one